Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Hannah Clark with your midday Arklamas update. Switching gears to some community news, the Wellsprings My Community Cares program and the Children's Coalition for Northeast Louisiana hosted a parent cafe at Carver Elementary School yesterday. NBC 10 Sammy Petraco was in attendance and shares with us the importance of these events. The MCC team's goal is to help reduce the number of children who are separated from their families. The Parent Cafe is the first step in doing that by bringing parents in to make and build friendships and support groups and give them as many resources as possible when facing any hard challenges. Yes, well this is a safe place for parents to come, you know, and talk about the joys and also the challenges of rearing, rearing a family. You know, and they can also come and, you know, build support systems, you know, get resources. Carver Elementary School is the first to host an event like this. The principal Valerie Vinson spoke on what it means to be the first to host this event. And for me to say yes, because I've been here and I'm so vested in this school, vested in my community that the school is in, and also the parents will say yes. We want it, and we want to make it happen for our parents. Valerie and Dietrich hope that with being the first school to host, that many other schools will see the benefits of the program and host these events as well, even as far as asking the superintendent for help. Uh, he said we need to send this to the other schools so they can reach out and be a part of the same, same avenue to bring the resources to their schools and their parents. With the many benefits of the cafe, parents should come to not only meet friends, but also help build a stronger community that they can ask for help when needed. To come, you know, build relationships, build friendships, you know, that you will be able to reach out to these people and they'll be a great support to you. My Community Care hopes to have more of these events at schools. To know more information or any upcoming Parent Cafe events, you can visit myarchimus.com where MCC's website will be linked. Reporting for your Arkham News Source, I'm Sammy Petraco. The world's largest rubber duck will make her first appearance in the south right here in West Monroe. Mama Duck will be in downtown the area for this year's Washita River Fest. The inflatable bath time icon stands over 60 feet tall. Mayor Stacy Mitchell says it's a fun way to promote the festival and shares how the guest appearance will benefit the area. I mean, things like this, like this world's largest rubber duck, it, it brings people to our area. They will shop in our downtowns or really all over the Twin Cities. They'll eat in our restaurants, you know, buy gas, everything. So it's not only is it creating commerce, it's creating a quality of life, it's creating community, and it's just what makes it so much fun to be here. Mama Duck will be in the grass lot on Commerce Street and Wood Street. You can see it in person starting on April 19th through April 21st. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We'll see a mixture of sun and clouds for this afternoon. Could still see winds breezy at times staying out of the southwest. However, we will see winds start shifting out north for some locations starting in south Arkansas with the passing of our cold front. Most of the rain chances will diminish later today. However, we are expecting more showers and thunderstorms to start popping up as we go into the overnight hours. This can be mainly past midnight onward from 6, 7 o'clock onward. We'll see more showers and thunderstorms pop up. Really, with this disturbance, it'll move across parts of southwest Arkansas and move staying mainly north of the I 20 corridor, but we're still going to continue this unsettled pattern as the uh, disturbance continues to linger across the Arkhamus, and this will go all the way to at least Sunday morning with more widespread showers and thunderstorms. Not looking like we'll see much in the way of anything severe, however, we could still see an additional one, two inches of rainfall, which will still kind of aid in keeping some of the low spots and some of the local waterways kind of flooded, at least to the start of next week. Expecting a low of 56 degrees for tonight with sky thunderstorms popping up past the midnight hours. Tomorrow we'll see temperatures just in the lower 60s with widespread rain and thunderstorms. The winds will be mostly out of the northeast by that point. Now throughout the remainder of next week, we will see sunshine return by Monday and Tuesday. And these temperatures will start to rebound. Lows will be in the mid 40s, but getting back to the mid 50s. And highs will be beginning back to the 80s by next Wednesday and Thursday. But could see more chance for thunderstorms next Friday. That's it for your midday update. NBC News Daily continues. Watch NBC 10 News for the Eye in the Sky. Get a better understanding of what's happening with our drone, the Eye in the Sky, only on NBC 10 News.